The other question I will ask you is uh, to determine the, ex the uh, tension in the string. You can either look at block B or you can look at block A. Now you don't look at the, the, the uh, entire system anymore. Don't look at the entire system. Look at an individual block. Why? Because now we need to figure out tension. If you look at the entire system, then tension's internal. Notice tension's not up here. So I'm going to just look at block B. I'm going to erase this. I know that block B has an acceleration of 1.96 meters per second squared because I just calculated it. The net force acting on block B only is the mass of B times the acceleration of the entire system because B is part of that system. So that is what? 4 kilograms times 1.96 and that came out to be 7.84. That's not the tension. That's the difference between the tension and the weight. That's why it accelerates up. So the net force acting on B is the difference between the tension and the weight of B. You have to subtract. Because your acceleration is positive, 1.96, you have to subtract the bigger force minus the smaller force to get a positive net force. So I know tension is bigger than weight because B accelerates upwards in the direction of the tension. This is 7.84 equals the tension less the weight of B, which we said was 39.2. Add the 39.2 to the other side and solve, and we get 47 newtons. That's one way to do it, and that, I think, is the easier way. The other way to do it that I want to show you real quick is you could look at block A. You just got to be real careful. So 47 newtons. If you look at block A, so the net force acting on block A equals the mass of block A times the acceleration. Well, block A has a mass of 6 kilograms. Yeah times the same acceleration, 1.96 meters per second squared, but it's accelerating downwards. But I'm going to still just leave it as a positive acceleration because the system acceleration is that way. And I'm saying that that way is positive. When B goes up, A goes down. That's the positive direction. I know that's a little weird because it changes as it goes here, but it's the way we deal with it. 6 times 1.96 is 11.76 newtons. 11.76 newtons. Well, what is the net force acting on A? This is where you have to be very, very careful. Okay. A accelerates downwards. We're using a positive acceleration. So for A, down is positive. For B, up was positive. For, for A, down is positive. Weird, because that's the way it accelerates. If I can use a positive, I have to subtract the bigger number minus the smaller number to get a positive acceleration, a positive net force. So weight of A minus tension. The direction, or the way you orient these absolutely matters. This is 11, this is positive, 11.76 equals 58.8 for the weight minus t, add t to the other side, subtract 11.76 over there, and you get t equal to 47 newtons. Again, you'll, you have to get the same answer because the tension is the same in both. So the tension's 47 newtons. Which